Good morning. It's Daphne Green living here, and I just wanted to come and give you guys a quick tour of our homeschool space. I am loving this area so much, and I figure I'd give it a share with you guys. This is where I'm gonna start, you guys. I have a bird guide, a leaf guide, an insect guide, and this is nothing new. If you've been following me for any amount of time, you've seen these probably about two years ago on Instagram, but I just moved them to a new location, which is above the piano. Our sheet music is there, um, but of course it's just adding a little beauty to the top of this piano um, thing. This I love reminders to be thankful, grateful, and how blessed I really am. And here is our piano. That was a freebie, needs a little bit of love, but you know what? Love makes all things grow and flourish, and so I have no complaints there. I do need a new battery, but that's okay. And these are just some pictures from Charlotte, or some quotes from Charlotte Mason, Maria Montessori, and Mother Teresa, and I like them. It says, let them once get in touch with nature and a habit of swarm, which would be a source of delight through time. And this one says the things he sees are not just remembered, they are from a part of his soul. And you know what, I got these, um, I've just printed them online about a year and some change ago. Here's my cat, Chloe. <laughs> and I just um, put them on the clipboards, you know? It's a, a nice way to have a great reminder um, to be centered and grounded, what's really important. You guys know I'm big on nature. I'm. I definitely love the Wardoff and um, Charlotte Mason, Montessori, some of the older um, ways of, of doing things and educating the whole child. And so I love all these natural wooden pieces, although sometimes I add my own touch and paint. Um, and right here, the only thing I'm going to do later is get some little balls here. I do plan on using this bread bowl to make bread, but also I plan on just using it for a little bit of decor. And what I'm going to do is add some little balls with some linen and um, fabric around it. My son playing with this cap. My mother and father in love went to Dubai. They brought us back some little um, camels. You guys have seen those on my um, pictures on Instagram as well. I am going to add those up here. Um, be still and know and just a reminder to be fearless. I'm all again about these reminders of God and attributes that I want my children and myself to exude and to have. This is a magazine rack that I got at a yard sale for like five dollars. It was brown and I just painted it with some chalk paint. I have a video on that and in here I just keep um, some of our nature, or not nature, but some of our morning basket reads. This is the only area in my home that I don't love, um, but it's highly functional. So what I plan to do later is swap these black ones out for some blue ones. Um, and actually when we're done with them for the day, I turn them to the other side because it's just more aesthetically pleasing <laughs> to kind of see them all this way. But we're about to start our day. So you're just getting the actual, um, what it really is. So over here is pretty much our art area, and um, we just kind of have all of our yarns and paints and um, different things like that in these bins. All kinds of paints. Move, honey. Hi. <laughs> Hi, Lonnie. We have our notebooks here. Because um, the kids love, 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 love just writing and drawing in them. And so that's definitely a part of our um, daily life. And here is the rest of our morning time. You know, morning time, morning basket, morning circle, it all kind of is the same to me. You know, I don't really make too much of a distinction because I do most of all of my read alouds. Excuse me, I do all of my read alouds and all of the things we do as a group together doing um morning circle, group basket, or whatever. This is our Exploring Natures with Children. If you've, again, if you've been following us on Instagram, you know, we've been doing that for a while. 
Um, we love baking and making breads and stuff. We are, uh, we have just started a safety unit from the Good and Beautiful, uh, a botany unit from the Good and Beautiful, and these are what I use for PE, and I just grab something per day from there, and that's the kids' PE. Here's some more breads because, again, I do like them to um, bake, and then I just kind of have a fun, a few fun little goodies in there. I do use these Get Fit cards, and um, their favorite is Good Morning Yoga. And if you haven't, follow me on Instagram again. <laughs> I post that Good Morning Yoga um, book there. This is my throne. This is where I sit. This is where I teach um, for the most part. And I love my little chair. <laughs> it definitely, again, brings that new and old together. And I'm super in love with it and grateful. Okay, here I have something from um, Charlotte Mason. I am a child of God. I'm very valuable because God made me. I can do all things to Christ who gives me strength. God has made me able to do everything that I um, have to do. I ought to do my job so I will be obeying God, my parents, and everyone in authority over me. And I will resolve to keep watch over my thoughts, tongue, and choose what's right even if it's not what I want. And I really, really like that. Um, these are the ones that we did not get to um, yesterday. Um, this how great is our God we didn't get to that one yesterday because I do have um, other devotionals that I use too so I don't use this I kind of alternate them because this one has a lot of science in it and the other ones has just a lot of practical <sighs> I kind of wish this wasn't up here because <laughs> this is one of the books that I got um, from my Amazon haul here <clears throat> but this is the hero tales and we didn't get to that either yet so and here's my little planner that I have. And these are just here so that we can start off today with these and then we'll go right into our basket. Here is a 50 um, cities of the U.S. Um, a friend Darlene gifted this to me for my birthday for my homeschool kids. This is from my friend Hannah, my sweet beautiful um, from Pepper and Pine and these are letters from afar. And so each month um, you receive a letter, one letter, and if you remember that little shelf I showed you, it had a little brown thing and some little stamps. You get two stamps as well. So they are um, illustrated on both sides. There's a story. Um, they teach you the like they teach you the greeting of the language. So greetings. Actually, I think this one's on the wrong side, <laughs> but it's okay. So see these greetings or whatever. So this is like her geography, um, cultural, just information. And then in this bin, I just have all types of fun manipulatives. I won't go through um, every single one because I don't want to make this video super lengthy. But I just have some of my extra supplies here that I keep. Um, we have some sight words here that we have. Oh, you guys know how much I love like these president cards and the trees and the cats and the animals. These little things are such fun ways to incorporate learning and just kind of capture and get the attention Africa. So I really love these. And then the rest of these are um, Brain Quest or... A generic brain quest so most of them are brain quest and then I have one or two uh, maybe I don't have any generic ones I thought I had one that was a generic one but anyway <laughs> guess not here are some um, classical conversation cards this is more the classical um, method of, of learning in here we have some a math journal and just some math manipulatives that we use and this is probably one of my favorite drawers it has my ward off um, little alphabet cards and it has a poem on the back of each one so that's one of my favorite things and then the rest of them are just letters and bingos and fun things we can do with the letters once we learn it so anyway that's gonna be it for this side Right here we have some things that I said I was going to get to and that I haven't got to and some of the things that we love and play with and use all the time. Our ward off and coloring journals are here. We have some circuits and just games here. 
um, some more hands-on and a little bit of time but this is um, math predominantly science predominantly English predominantly and that is this section right here we're not game schoolers but we do love games and hands-on ways to enforce and to remember the things that we are learning and working on on this side I have the um, flowering plant the plants life cycle and this and this photosynthesis ones um, come from the good and beautiful this medicinal herbs for elf um, comes from my friend chicken Roo. and then these garden vegetables I will link where these came from for you guys. So as we go on down over here, I have another green plant and of course our uh, learning over here. But I just have some old magazines, Rick Rangers, Zoo Books, um, National Geographic, that they can just grab and take a look at when there's free time or a uh, time that we need to do something else. And then these are just more fun bins and kind of for my daughter, um, just hands-on manipulatives and um, you know, well, <laughs> someone's got some things mixed up, but just counting and, um, drawing. We've got some fraction pizza, some Uno and, um, some number pops. And then we're very big into the, the different animals and matching. It's just like us mamas to have everything neat and organized and just like the kids to come and disorganize it. <laughs> and add their own thing. Homeschool moms, I have a question for you. What animal is this? Let me know in the comments below. <laughs> oh my goodness. And we have our um, some instruments when we do those type of studies or when you just wanna play with it. And when we do transportation units, they can just play with these. And I just kinda of put everything in baggies to kinda of keep it organized because I do function better when things are kind of neat and organized. Here is like the Play-Doh fun because you know, all kids like making a mess with that stuff. <laughs> and then I have some dominoes, two sets, and a few more animals, magnifying glass, little bags for those. We do some felting, um, some different crafts here. These are hand crafts. We don't do these as much because predominantly we do a lot of sewing. So I think the sewing and gardening is pretty much our time. It has been our time here lately but um especially when it gets cold oh boy we will definitely be sewing some more treats i have a video i think on this unboxing um so fun and of course all of my little wooden pieces and manipulatives from inspired little learners on instagram and these little cards here i got at target So that's kind of my little wooden section because you guys know I love nature and wooden things. I prefer not to have a lot of plastic like you see, but there's balance for everything, remember? Right here is just to kind of help my kids stay focused and be organized. This is what they are ideally supposed to be doing. We know that ideally is not always ideally. It doesn't always work that way, but it's better to have some plan the no plan so this is just kind of what we do in this regard over here is our learning shelf it's more my um it's more my storage area it's not particularly for them it's not something they come over and use and access every day but it's something for me and so the way I have this Expedia organized is these are all my bible resources um these are just some oh here are my um my other ones. I was thinking they were over there, but here they are. They are the um, question and game book, which again is a generic um, brain quest, or to me, it's a uh, generic brain quest. So I have those with my early readers from the Good and Video, video Good and Beautiful, as well as a few readers that I picked up here and there from Rebecca and Yard Cells and things like that. So my Aesop's Fables and all those. So that that gets this show. This shelf are my activities. So it's like science, reading, phonics, after school travel, science experiments. That typically gets the shelf right here. This shelf is like my encyclopedias, my dictionaries, my thesaurus, it's that type of thing. And then right here is just like my learn to read and more hands on um, like Montessori matching cards, that type of thing there. 
Down here is like our nature study. So it's drawn to nature, nature anatomy. Um, we do have a few more of these outdoor um, books and they really belong over here with the projects because they're the same exact book and like keeping like with like. But since this is our nature study and we would be using the um, these outside, I just put them over here. So our nature journals are here and a few of our plant books are here. Okay, that takes us on over here, which is our art section. About this part right here is art. And then in here is our fitness. Over here is coloring books, um, paper for them that they can use, stencils, because kids like drawing with stencils. Um, over here is just like a, a teacher section. Um, again, it's predominantly me, and it's predominantly geography with a touch, just like one biology book here, and one special education and reading book here. Uh, and then over here is circle time books, homeschooling books, um, more activity books. This is more of a reading area. This area right here is uh, visits to Africa, and this is all classical conversations, IEW. This one right here is Oak Meadow, and this is kindergarten. This right here is first grade. This right here is second grade, third grade, we have fourth grade, fifth grade, and then this on up is middle school. So we have a little bit of sixth, seventh, and eighth here. There are um, my workbooks that go with the rest of the um, IUW, <laughs> sorry. I was a tutor, so this are some of the teacher's guides. And we have a few more reading for the little kids. My laminator and a box of tissue is here. This is some more felt and craft things. This is our nature study book bag. This is empty. And I have a pencil sharpener and a little plant hanger that I'm going to get an air plant and put in there. I had one and it died. <laughs> so um, it didn't make the transport um, for this new move, for this new house. So... It's just there and I am going to get a new air plant and put it in a new location. That's part of our room is our table. When we moved, we left all of our desks and things behind. Well, we sold them and gave them because uh, we knew that we didn't have the space there and we didn't know what kind of space we'd have here. Um, this was off of a yard sale and um, the kids really like it and I like us being together and not being separated. Now, I will say if you stick around, you'll come back and you'll see that I'm going to up cover or recover the um, chair, the fabric, and I'm gonna paint the table. So I'll let you guys take a guess of what color you think I'm gonna repaint this table. But that is it, so let me just do you one more look around the entire space.